Slovenia, a nation in Central Europe, is renowned for its mountains, lakes, and other natural splendor. Since Slovenia has so many lovely sites to visit, the majority of people intend to stay here during their vacations. Some remnants of 20th century architecture are also a draw for tourists from throughout the world. Slovenia's capital, Baroq, is renowned for its beauty and culture. The Balkans, the Adriatic Sea, and the Eastern Alps all encircle a nation. If you were to visit Slovenia, it would be a very wise choice because there are so many interesting towns and quaint villages to discover. Don't forget to take in the snow-capped mountains. They simply blow my mind. Heavy winter clothing is a must if you are traveling in the winter. If you want to experience Slovenia's true beauty, there are a few interesting places to visit. You will have a wonderful experience thanks to the Alps' natural beauty and the lake's clear waters. You will have the most wonderful time while visiting these locations. Look at these 10 incredible Slovenian tourist attractions for a glimpse into the history, customs, and culture of the nation, as well as for a relaxing experience. 1. Lake Bled Lake Bled is a picturesque body of water encircled by the Julian Alps that serves as the entrance to the Triglav National Park. The Emerald Green Lake isn't very big, and you can walk around it in a single afternoon. The little island in the middle of the lake, which is home to a 17th century church, is what draws people to the location. You can also wish to rent a rowboat to explore the water, go horseback riding along the lakeshore, or hike about 15 minutes to the 17th century Bled Castle, which offers stunning views of the lake below. Glacial Lake Bled, located in northwest Slovenia and tucked into the foothills of the Julian Alps, is an area of breathtaking natural beauty. The lake's stunning blue-green waters are kept relatively warm during the summer by underground thermal springs, making it a popular destination for water sports. The Julian Alps can be perfectly explored from Bled. 2. Ljubljana Old Town Ljubljana Old Town is a beautiful area to explore and the highlight of many people's trip. It is tucked away between the rushing Ljubljana River and the steep hill on which Ljubljana Castle is situated. Despite its modest size, the area is filled with winding cobblestone streets, hidden passageways, and ancient structures that are in excellent condition everywhere you turn. The town hall from the 15th century and the stunning Raba Fountain, one of the city's icons, are both located in the area of Town Square. The Central Market and the Cathedral of St. Nicholas are also nearby, and many of the old town's vibrant structures are home to cafes, restaurants, pubs, and stores. With a nice, laid-back vibe, you could easily spend a few days taking in the scenery and exploring everything that it has to offer. 3. Soka Valley The Soka River, which flows through the same named valley, is a magnificent hue of vivid turquoise that must be seen to be believed. The valley is breathtaking on its own and offers visitors a wide variety of local flora and fauna to explore. But if you're looking for something a little more adventurous, there are a ton of outdoor activities available in this picturesque setting. Popular river rafting is a great way to take in the scenery as you float by on the water, or you can take to the skies with activities as extreme as paragliding. If you prefer something a little more sedate, you can hike nearby or ride horses along mountain trails before stopping for a picnic at one of the many beautiful locations in the valley. If you're interested in tackling the mountainous terrain, cycling and mountain biking are also growing in popularity in Slovenia. 4. Blood Castle Blood Castle is perched high above the breathtaking blue-green lake Blade in the foothills of the Julian Alps in northwest Slovenia. This 9th-century fortification is all you would image a medieval fairy tale castle to be, complete with moats, a drawbridge, ramparts, towers, and terraces with stunning views of the lake. For a panoramic view of the lake, the town, and the snow-capped Julian Alps, climb to the top of Bled Castle. Admire the towers with red roofs and other fantastical elements of the 11th century building. On a rocky ledge overlooking the lake, the castle appears to be perched precariously. At Bled Castle, there is a lot to see and do. Explore the castle grounds, take in the extensive collection of medieval armor and weapons in the museum there, browse the wine cellar, and partake in a tasting and take in the breathtaking views of late bled from the castle terrace. 5. Triple Bridge Triple Bridge really consists of three bridges that cross the Ljubljana River to link Preserant Square in the Old Town. The bridges, which are paired, were created by the architect Joe's Pleknik. 
who also included charming stone balustrades that are stunningly highlighted by gentle lighting at night. It may seem strange that the three are so close together, but this is because two pedestrian bridges were added in 1930 to the main bridge, which was built exclusively for vehicular traffic. Whatever the case, Triple Bridge should not be missed when in Ljubljana. Great images can be produced by its sophisticated features. To admire the three bridges' architectural details, traverse each one on foot. Balustrades and creative street lamps are a couple of them. The turrets of Ljubljana Castle can be seen if you sit on one of the seats lining the central bridge and look out across Preseren Square. On the south side of the bridge, keep an eye out for the opulent colonnade that rises over the riverbanks. 6. Bled Island The tiny Bled Island appears like something out of a fairy tale, with its picture-perfect church and elaborate steeple poking out above the tree line and perched on Bled Lake. According to local custom, a successful marriage can only be ensured by the groom carrying his wife up all 99 stairs from the island's pier to the church. The Church of the Mother of God on a Lake, which has a lengthy and interesting history, is the island's most recognizable emblem. You can explore intriguing island structures within the vegetation, including the bell tower, the curacy and provost residence, a small hermitage, and a few other enigmatic mythical structures. The wishing bell is well-liked by the numerous tourists who visit the island. They recommend themselves to the Mother of God and make their wishes and requests known to her when they ring the bell. 7. Tartini Square one of Slovenia's most magnificent squares is Puran's Tartini Square, and this is true despite not simply its opulent Venetian and Neo-Renaissance surroundings. The public area was constructed on top of the original fishing pier, which was outside the city walls and was used for fishing at first, before becoming entirely inundated by sewage. By the end of the 19th century, Today, the pedestrian-only plaza between Perrin's Town Hall and Courthouse acts as a picturesque location for events and concerts, as well as a well-liked gathering place for city residents. Go for the people watching or for stunning views of the Adriatic Sea, nearby hills and buildings. The square's entrance is flanked by two 15th-century stone flatpoles and a 19th-century monument, honoring the violinist and composer Giuseppe Tartini, after whom the square is named. 8. Vinker Gorge Visitors are drawn to the Vinker Gorge by its emerald green pools, impressive waterfalls, and lovely swimming holes. The Vinker Gorge was formed over ages by the waters of the Radona River. Visit to witness the Sum Waterfall, which cascades into an emerald pool at the head of the gorge, and to walk through bridges and wooden boardwalks hung over the water. One of Slovenia's most alluring destinations is Vinker Gorge. The Rodolda River is traversed by boardwalks for 1.6 kilometers, resulting in a picturesque scene that is interesting to explore and take pictures of. It's beautiful, simple to get to, easy to walk, and entertaining for the whole family. It is a 1.6-meter gorge that is located in Slovenia's northwest. This gorge attracts lots of tourists from both within the nation and foreign countries. A lake, rapids, and other erosive characteristics can be found in the stream. Except for two points, the gorge was completely inaccessible in 1890. However, by 1891, the rest area of the gorge was made accessible. However, with the passage of time, many wooden paths were created. 9. Lake Bohinj Slovenia's Lake Bled may be the most well-known lake, but Lake Bohinj is a close second. Take a cable car for one of the best views of Triglav National Park. Go trekking, go paddleboarding, or go swimming in the lake. If you want a serene but beautiful place to spend a few days, Lake Bolinge is a better option than Lake Bled because it is less popular with tourists. The lake, one of Slovenia's permanent lakes, is roughly 318 hectares in size. Actually, it is situated in the Julian Alps Bolinge Valley. Mountains and woods surround the entire lake. The area is quite beautiful in nature. The lake's water reflects light like a mirror. The lakeside area boasts a number of water sports events that one can participate in. While some like to go fishing, many people also swim in the lake. There are various uncommon fish species that can be seen here. Sitting quietly in front of the lake is also relaxing. 10. The Vršić Pass, which rises to a height of over 1,500 meters, 
is known as the highest mountain pass in Slovenia's Julian Alps, a road named Russian Road, which dates from the early 20th century, runs the entire length of the pass before descending to the Soka Valley. The pass is well known for being a great location for hikers looking for shorter outings, as well as climbers looking to take on one of the nearby peaks, some of which rise to over 7,000 feet. There are many charming mountain lodges in the area to choose from if you want to stay there and experience the local way of life. Russian prisoners of war built the paved road during World War I. This mountain pass in the eastern Julian Alps is the highest at 1611 meters. The road has 50 hairpin curves, with 24 on the side facing Kranska Gora and 26 on the side facing Trenta.